It's so easy once you get that secret. This changed everything for me. Here are five tricks to coming up with project ideas that are original and relevant to your students. Method number one, ask yourself, what are my students stressed out about? Now, I know this sounds a little counterintuitive because PBL can be daunting enough for students and we of course don't wanna stress them out more. The reason you can hone in on things that stress them out is they know that that problem exists and they're actively looking for a solution. For example, I have students who are pretty stressed about finding a summer job. So I've helped them craft the perfect resume using the preterite tense in Spanish. How to discuss their past activities and that impact using the past tense in Spanish with a strong resume in English as well. By finding something that is already at top of mind or that they already see as a problem in their real life, you can automatically get buy-in because you're helping your students solve a problem they already have with the content area of your subject. The second way I come up with original project ideas is I take a minute to think about what are the topics my students cannot stay silent on. When all my students could talk about was organizing the school walkout against gun violence, I could use that as an opportunity to teach them about the subjunctive in Spanish. In other words, what part of the language allows them to talk about what they want, what's important to them, and what change they want to see in the world. Another topic my students can't stop talking about is how much homework they get and how late they stay up finishing it. So use that in an English class to discuss writing persuasive essays. The principal of your school, for example, would care about students making persuasive arguments on the topic of too much homework at their school. If you teach statistics, you encourage the students to collect survey data about how many hours a night their peers spend on homework and use that to come up with some detailed data analysis and present that to the principal or the local paper. If it's a topic that your students already can't stop talking about outside of class, they're going to be psyched to explore it in a project in class. The third way I come up with original PBL ideas, what ways do they procrastinate their schoolwork? Now, hear me out on this. For example, my students, I have a ton of them that are involved in a D&D club, Dungeons and Dragons. I took five minutes to ask them about what D&D is. I come to learn that a big piece that influences the whole game are characteristics of each of their players. Boom, easy way to connect D&D to personality traits in Spanish class. Another way my students procrastinate is Snapchat. So if I were teaching psychology, I might ask my students to explore what makes Snapchat addictive and how might we transfer some of those principles to make schoolwork more addictive. Method number four I use to build PBL project ideas that I know my students will care about is I ask them what topics do they keep hearing about but they wish they had more clarity on. Any hot topic in the news tends to fall into this camp. My students were interested to know why the heck Trump kept talking about this wall. So we built a project around the history of immigration policy between Mexico and the United States in the past, what NAFTA means and how it relates to their avocado toast they like to eat in the morning, and ultimately coming up with some public facing presentation about what a better solution might be if the wall's not it. And the fifth way I come up with original PBL ideas is I ask my students. Students do passion projects all the time. They know what kinds of things they get excited about would be able to hold their interest for a long period of time. I'll tell my students, I wanna teach you guys how to speak about past events in Spanish. So I'm gonna be entertaining project ideas. Your homework is to come up with a driving question, five benchmark assignments along the way, and a public facing product so that I know by the time you finish whatever project you're proposing to me, you will have mastered using the preterite and imperfect in Spanish. Of course, the topic is just the beginning of PBL. You still need to come up with what learning targets you're gonna hit and the driving question and the public audience and all the summative and formative assessments and so much other stuff. So if you're interested in the entire process of planning your original PBL projects that you know your students will love and will hit your learning goals, stay tuned. We're gonna cover all of that in the upcoming weeks in this series on this channel. If you've been inspired to come up with a topic, comment down below. I'll reply to you and help you come up with a driving question for that topic to help you move forward even further in the right direction. Thank you so much for your time. And more importantly, thank you for doing project-based learning. You slowly are contributing to this effort of real world authentic learning. And I can't thank you enough. My name is Maria Jernigan and keep leveling up your 21st century classroom. See you next time.